It's the year 2008. Banks have been irresponsibly lending on some prime mortgages. Credit has been ludicrously easy to come by and a looming catastrophe unfolds, leaving consumers at the mercy of a potential financial wipeout. An anonymous programmer going by pseudoname, Satoshi Nakamoto, identifies that the root problem stems from centralized authorities who are trusted to move our money around electronically, but rather lend it out as waves of credit bubbles with barely a fraction in reserve. Satoshi, along with the help from some others, creates a system of trust owned by no one and simultaneously run by everyone. A system which allows transactional data to be passed back and forth within a decentralized, programmatically governed computational network of trust, Bitcoin. Then, in July 2015, a crowdfunded group of five programmers designed a network that was as ingenious as it was complex. One that could act as the world's immutable computer. Another ledger of trust that alike to Bitcoin could not be shut down. However, this network could also run programs built by anyone. Such programs could be anything like an escrow contract for payment, a loan, credit creation, gaming and other applications. These programs within such a decentralized network are more commonly referred to as smart contracts. Pieces of code that allow us to do almost anything we can imagine computationally without a middleman, as the self-governed network is the middleman. Flash loans, DeFi, contract settlement, tokenization of assets, and much more has been made possible. However, this is where the journey begins to show issues. The elephant in the room continues to grow, but go unnoticed because of the Ponzi scheme hype and hopium for everyday people to gain tremendous wealth relying upon new entrants into the industry. Not only does the elephant in the room remain unseen, but also the true capability of the technology goes unrealized. Whilst there has been a race to solve for the trilemma of achieving a scalable, secure and decentralized system of trust, the narrative in the market has not changed. But where is the real value? Is it in transferable objects, NFTs or a new consensus mechanism? Or is it in the potential for applications to be built that others simply can't compete with? a potential blue ocean strategy for a new layer one startup. Dear Sui, from reading through your documentation, working with the move programming language and messaging within your discord, I felt it was worth sending this message to you. Speed, security and decentralization have largely been solved for by yourself and also by others. But the following three areas could be considered the true crypto trilemma from an application developer's perspective. This has hardly been solved by anyone, but maybe, just maybe, I'm hoping you could change this. The first of what I would call the true trilemma facing crypto is access to external data. Due to the nature of reaching consensus within a decentralized network, agreeing upon external data via external APIs has not been possible. That is until Chainlink arrived upon the scene. Although Chainlink poses a solution for agreement upon price data or external third-party APIs, it adds another layer of complexity and thus also expense. It also limits developers to the data made available, given the lack of available APIs to connect with at any given time. Randomness is also a necessary data point required in many blockchain applications, which Chainlink can solve but it's not available everywhere and some applications simply require it, leaving another host of potential game-changing products off the table. When integrating Chainlink into our recent Solana-based trading application, getting historical price information was not possible when calling directly from the program. The second leg of the real trilemma could be called event scheduling. Some agreements or smart contract settlements are due at a given deadline. A great example of this could be an options contract between a buyer and a seller. In crypto, we can calculate and trade option derivatives, but seem to lack the ability to have a contract pre-programmed to run at a given time or some kind of triggering event, maybe an epoch. Even though one could use a centralized party such as a cloud provider or their own laptop, for example, to execute calling a smart contract function, there are few cases where this is both practical for users 
and in trading applications, time bound. Parsec is another service, much like Chainlink. It adds another layer of complexity and aims to solve this particular problem, but it's an external solution and one that could probably be solved internally. The third leg, the real trilemma, is transparency. Learning Solana felt like crawling through glass, only to find that it is almost impossible to validate a program or smart contract source code. In fact, the same is true with Ethereum by using Etherscan, which is a centralized solution to the problem, again defeating the point. Solana's own documentation refers that it is up to the programmer to put safeguards in place and the user to check it. Fair enough. But how do they do this? In reality, transparency and safety need to be self-evident. Perhaps deploying smart contracts should likely be a more rigorous process, as though an Etherscan-like solution was built in. Finally, with having access to external data, being able to trigger events, and having transparency in place, we would truly have an unbeatable layer one blockchain, which would have a vastly expansive set of use cases for real world interaction. Goodbye NASDAQ, hello crypto. It would likely be a better use of the hundreds of millions of dollars worth of funding that the new layer one startups are receiving, developing solutions to truly face the ever fattening elephant in the room. The SUI blockchain feels to be the most promising candidate, not because you have the fastest tech, or the more scalable solution primed for gaming, but because your team communicate better in the Discord than other options I have personally encountered. You seem to have the right thinking, a new angle on crypto, and have the expertise at hand. The Move programming language, based on Rust, feels like a no-brainer. I look forward to the time which would be spent to learn and help others to make use of this. But to what end if we still are limited to the horizons of all the legacy layer ones before us. What would be the point of more noise in the market still to not realize the new potential horizons that could be pioneered by developers with an itch to scratch or a vision to see realized? It is with that now said that I hope this message finds you well and is received with understanding of the rogue developer and trading enthusiast sending it. Decentralization is the future, but only when we can truly connect our dream applications with our desired reality, as anything inefficient that is more automated will only magnify its inefficiency. Sincerely, Crypto Wizards.